Hey everybody, Deep South EDC coming at you today. Uh, we're going to do a short presentation on some EDC multi-tools. So previously I was working on a series called uh, SOG Switch Plier Gimmick. Unfortunately, during my adventures in New Mexico, somewhere in between New Mexico and back to Louisiana, I lost it. I think it fell out of my pocket and is in the rental car. So unfortunately, those things are discontinued and it's really hard to find one. So I'm trying to find one so I can continue that series. Uh, so today what I got for you is a Leatherman Skeletal and a full size uh, Leatherman Free P4. So I just wanna do like a size comparison here. So the Leatherman Free definitely has way more tools and way more versatility. Um, what I do like about it is it does come with a pocket clip and it does come with this cool Leatherman case for it. Just basic belt, belt sheath, nylon, nothing fancy. Now the Skeletool, this is just the basic budget model. Um, I've had it for years, has done me well. It comes with this nice pocket clip here. It also has like a lanyard that also doubles as a bottle opener. Uh, here's a little symbol here. Now the Skeletool, what's pretty cool about this, it, it just has all you need. So it has your primary uh, knife here. This is a combo blade. On this side, you open up the handles a little bit and you got your screwdriver. So uh, it comes with two bits, your Phillips. It's got two sizes here. And it also comes um, over here on this side with your flathead. And you can store your Phillips bit in this little slot when not in use, or if you prefer the, the flat in your uh, tool. And then the last thing, it's just your uh, pliers, your wire cutters, your needle nose. So that's real basic, it's pretty lightweight. Um, the combo blade, it's some people, I used to be a former knife guy, so I definitely prefer just a regular straight blade. However, this is like my work knife, so. The knife is easy to sharpen, but the serrations are good in case I, you know, got to cut some tough twine or even some wire, op even open up a can if I have to. Uh, now, the other Leatherman that I carry is this Leatherman Free P4. Now, I originally wanted to go with the Leatherman Surge, but unfortunately, they were out of stock at the time and I had a gift card so this is what I settled on and I actually enjoy it a lot more than I thought so it's one-handed opening which is really cool kind of like a butterfly knife style um, it's held together by magnets the wire cutters are the Leatherman replaceable kind um, like I said it does come with that nylon case but it also has this really nice deep carry pocket clip that does feel good in the, in the pocket. Um, so that's really nice. Now the knives are pretty cool. Your main knife here, it kind of protrudes out the top a little bit. So that's how you kind of can feel that that's your main knife there. And then all the tools unlock um, on the outside. And also all of the tools you can engage one-handed, which is pretty cool as well. So on this side, we got our main knife. Um, this thing here is pretty cool. It's like a pry bar, but it's also also has like this flat edge or sharp edge on it. So it's like a box opener. Whoops. Uh, over here, we got some really nice scissors, uh, spring action. And then the last thing we got on this side is the Phillips screwdriver nut. It's kind of like, however they made it, 
it's kind of interesting. It's like a flat piece that's like 3D ground. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus. I don't know. It's interesting. It does work well. Now on this other side, we got our saw, which is pretty sharp. Um, we got our serrated knife. It's a full uh, dedicated serrated knife, as you could tell. I've used this one to cut branches or roots or whatever I needed to. And then this middle side, we got our can opener. We got our, our awl, which is uh, pretty sharp. And it also doubles as like a small flathead. We got this, um, this is kind of a lame tool. They could have put something else here. It's a wire stripper. So they count this part, this notch here at the bottom as the wire stripper. And then it's also like a, a ruler and then a flathead. That's it. Uh, the last thing here is a file. Uh, the file, it's all right. Um, I prefer a larger file, but uh, it does the job. The side's pretty nice here. So overall, I'm not disappointed. Um, the only thing I am kind of disappointed with is that there's no way to use any of the Leatherman bit kits to go on here without changing my own tools and adding my own aftermarket things on. Um, but this little thing has served me well. It's tough and it's really nice. So I originally didn't really like this or didn't think I was going to like it. But I really had my heart set on the, the Leatherman Surge, but this one does the job. And then a lighter EDC version. Um, I just go with the Leatherman Skeletal. Can't go wrong with that. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, what kind of multi-tools do you carry? Um, I used to carry a lot of SOG multi-tools until um, I finally got into the Leatherman. Uh, yeah, what do you guys think? Uh, leave a comment. If you like the video, leave a thumbs up. If you watched on Rumble, hit that Rumble button. And we'll catch you all next time. Deep South EDC out.